Hello, in this video we are going to show you how you can add layers, text layer and uh, image layer. From uh, plugin menu click manage sliders and then click playlist for the desired uh, slider. We'll uh, select the slide for which we want to add the layers and we'll open the layers uh, section by clicking this button. Uh, here you can add the text or image layer. You can delete one layer or all layers. You can duplicate a, a layer and the preview slider. Let's add our first uh, text layer. You can uh, drag and drop this uh, text layer. When you'll uh, move this the final uh, position will change. Um, you can uh, change the text. By default you have uh, these values. You can uh, change them to select uh, CSS class you can uh, edit the existing classes or you can uh, um, define uh, your own CSS classes. Uh, we'll also uh, select a CSS3 animation. You have a large number of predefined animations so uh, uh, the same like uh, the CSS uh, classes, you can edit your uh, animations or you can uh, add your own. Uh, when you will select um, an animation, it will uh, run, so uh, you will see how uh, it looks. We will select uh, our animation and uh, we'll position the uh, the layer uh, in the desired position. Uh, you can manually set these values if you want. Uh, save and uh, preview slider. To add a new uh, layer you can either use these buttons or you can just duplicate an existing uh, layer. You'll drag it in the new position, change the, the text Uh, change the CSS3 animation and uh, change the background color, font color and uh, save. Now let's preview. Uh, next we want uh, after two or three seconds these layers to move one to the left and the other to the right. So uh, we'll select it and uh, we'll use intermediate uh, move. Uh, we'll select a CSS3 uh, animation for the intermediate move. And uh, we want this to happen after, uh, I don't know, two and a half uh, seconds. The same for this one. After uh, two and a half seconds, we'll run this um, animation. To the right, we'll uh, save and uh, preview slider. You'll see that after uh, two and a half seconds, these layers will uh, disappear. 
Now let's uh, add the third layer which is uh, this one change the text for it Uh, cancel the background and uh, select a different um, um, CSS class. Uh, we'll animate this uh, without um, uh, CSS3 animation to see that uh, you can use uh, these values. So uh, from, uh, I don't know, this position which is uh, this value we'll just uh, copy it from here and we'll put it here this will be the initial uh, left it will move to here and uh, we'll just uh, copy the final top here because we only want a uh, horizontal uh, animation we want this to happen in uh, one second one second and we'll have a delay of uh, one second and after that we want an intermediate move we want this to get bigger so uh, after something like uh, three seconds we'll run uh, this animation now let's save and uh, preview slider so this will appear, this will uh, disappear and uh, this will get bigger. Now we'll show you how you can add an image layer. You can uh, click this button and from your media library select the desired image, drag it in the uh, desired spot, we'll uh, run uh, an animation for it like this and uh, we want a delay of uh, uh, six seconds now let's preview for save and uh, preview slider so uh, that's it.